Ladies, good evening. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. I'm very well. I watched the film last night and absolutely loved it. So thank you so much for the enjoyable experience it was sitting on my bed on my laptop in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> I would have loved to I would have loved to have sit on the big screen. However, <laughs> maybe maybe one day I'll get to it. Um yeah, congratulations on the show. I just wanted to start with you, Adele, and just just wondered how uh, how kind of privileged you are that it's it's finished now and it's out it's going to be out there for everybody because these things have so much work and so many people put their efforts into it it must be great to to get to this point now where expectation and anticipation is getting to the point where everyone's going to get to see it absolutely because you know they uh, this uh animated features take <laughs> so long to make there was you know they were in development for years even before i came on but truly it is like being pregnant for three years and you know in i think in, in our disney bubble we know how wonderful and joyful and fantastic it is but because we're all in our in that own in our own echo chamber you're not really sure you know how the outside world is going to see it so now being able to share the movie with others and get their reactions to it has been fantastic yeah and also that, I mean, obviously we're not seeing it how it was intended, but people are gonna gonna get to see it. How excited for you are you for people that like small children who might not go to the cinema all that often are gonna get to sit at home and watch it and then maybe go back and watch it again and go back and watch it again and keep get give the adults some time off. <laughs> One of the great joys of working at Disney is that um, the, the 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 films have such such great support behind them, and that in this case. We're gonna get it to people wherever they are. Um, I hope people get to see it both on their screen at home and on the big screen because it's a joy and it's a beautiful film. But I also feel like the message of the film is so timely and that I just can't wait for this film to come out. It's a film about um, coming together. It's about learning to trust one another so that we can work together for the greater good. And uh, what could be more timely? So wherever people see it, I want them to see it and to to hopefully, get some of that message and 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 um, bring it back into our lives. Yeah. I mean, Adele, you mentioned there about the, the kind of planning process. How early into it do you guys start thinking about who might voice these people? Because, you know, over the years, since probably since Robin Williams started it with the genie, there's always been big names, but sometimes big names aren't quite right. So I just wondered in that process, when you settled upon Kelly and Gemma and Aquafina and all those guys. Well, I would say, first of all, to Disney's credit, they landed on Aquafina even before I joined the team. They <laughs> met with her. And, and to your point, not every not every voice is, is uh, suited for animation. But mm -hmm. Aquafina was a perfect fit for our dragon, Sisu, because uh, it's Sisu had to work on many different levels. First of all, she is, um, Raya thinks she's going to be this magical solution that will fix all the world's problems. And is just very surprised, you know, Sisu subverts expectations. She's kind of zany, she's kind of vulnerable. She's, you know, hilarious. But underneath all of that, there is a deeper wisdom to her um, that she may not appear as, you know, the, the savior of the world at the outset, but really what she inspires in all the people around her really ends up being the thing that saves the day, which is inspiring you to trust in one another. And so, you know, being able to write for Aquafina, um, you know, for her to have like, ah, you know, that voice just like, you know, <laughs> cut through the screen, but also again, you know, uh, have, have it resonate on like the deeper, more emotional moments was incredibly special. Absolutely. I was. I wanted to ask you. I mean, uh, there's all, all this talk at the moment about about crossovers, and obviously Disney out now own. I think they own me as well. I just don't know it yet. You know, <laughs> that's how big they go. But there's talk of uh, things like Big Hero Six and all these other things coming into Marvel and crossing over and stuff like that. Where if if someone like Raya and uh, the guys in this one were kind of to cross over, would you love to see them cross over? Would you love to see them with all these other amazing kind of female characters as part of this huge house of mouse? That's a really interesting crossover because Big Hero actually originated with Marvel and <laughs> became an animated film. Um, and, <laughs> and I, you know, it's so fresh and new. We've just created her and her world and, and those incredible relationships between her and Sisu and her and Namari, you know, a, a chance to celebrate female friendships and, and the power of these characters that I can only see them in their own world for now. And maybe that's, that might be my limitation, but I almost want to live with them for a moment. We've created such a rich world for them. We could barely show you the, the, the tip of the edge of it when you go down the river, but it's so rich and so complete that I can only sort of see it as itself for now, but that might be a failure of my imagination. I have to think about that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you never know with these things, what can happen. Yeah. Uh, guys, thank you so much for your time. We really love the film and uh, maybe one day you'll get to, to do it all over again. 
Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.